good morning and uh, yeah welcome to another one we're actually on the uh, LVA Mauled Iron Mince Wine <laughs> Meet up um, we're back on and the camera's set up I think I've got a composition I like now a few scabby seals on the beach look at everybody lined up against the wall well this is going to be a test for this little microphone isn't it um, Owen's getting wet <laughs> Yeah, we changed slight change of plans with the tide being out. Um, we've come up to the arch and there's no water by the arch at all. So the arch is pretty dismal. The arch is just, just there at the end. So there's nothing going underneath it. So it doesn't look good at all. So reverted to plan B really. And with me, there's always a plan B or a plan C or a plan D. Plan B was these clouds. Look at these big, thick clouds. I'm not gonna fill my tripod up with salt water at the moment. I'm just gonna move back. <laughs> um, yeah, plan B was these big thick clouds and we've got Tyne and Weir um, Harbour, whatever that is down there, and the little lighthouse on the end. So I thought let's let's go for slightly long exposures on that. So everyone's setting up, we've got two cameras set up down here, we've got one down here, and Mr. Rowe's just been snapping away and he's just moved out of the water because he was getting wet. Um, I found these rocks, that was my first initial foreground interest. Let's go for the rocks, let's put the pier right in the background. I know it's small, but it doesn't matter. It's all about the sky. Um, I've done a slightly long exposure, which was at F13, uh, eight seconds. Um, so that, was, that worked out quite well. I've got the polarizer on, which is making the water dark, which is really nice. Um, there's a good possibility we're gonna get drenched in the next hour. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna mooch around. There's another rock this side, but it's got a lot of seaweed around it. So I'm gonna just see if I can get in a position where I've got another rock. I did favour them, but we've been here 10 minutes and we're already catching up with the tides coming really, really quick as the wind's blowing this direction. So yeah, that's the shot. I've taken a couple of laps of these rocks. I'm going to maybe take another one as well to see if I can get some more movement in the water, but I'm not quite sure where. I'll uh, keep moving around and, and see. But I don't want to get caught out. I don't really want to get me to try for covered in water today. And the next time you see me or us, would be at Blythe Pier because there's going to be water at Blythe Pier and it will make for a beautiful black and white image I reckon with this dark black grey sky and it is getting pretty black and dark so uh, be prepared for some umbrellas a little bit later on but yeah we're all having a good time we just had a brew and a coffee in the coffee house so uh, yeah all in all not a bad little day out at all look here comes the tide again it's coming to get me it really is moving in really really quick right I've got to get this shot for them rocks there disappear completely We are now heading towards Blythe Pier. Uh, as you can see by the grasses behind me, it's pretty windy, it's pretty choppy, and you can hear the sea over the other side here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit wavy, let's put it that way. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. I'm actually looking forward to it because I think this is gonna make a cracking monochrome shot, looking down the pier, leading off into all this massively dark gray clouds. Uh, bit of industry here by the looks of it, some old train lines. Um, like I say, I've just recently put a video out that uh, was shot. We did it, me and Denise was here in the dark trying to do a sunrise, or at least a year ago, um, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I've just recently put it out, recently, recently put it together because I just don't get time to put all the stuff we do out. And uh, it wasn't important at the time to get it out, but now I'm glad I have. Um, yeah, still got a few people left with us. I see some of them had to disappear. They've had other commitments today. Um, we've made our way down. Typical one of my meets, we've got a, a big um, marathon of whatever they were doing. So it's sort of nowhere to park back down in Whitley Bay. So it's a good job we weren't stopping there. Boxing but yeah, we're just coming up now. Huh? Boxing Day dip. Boxing Day dip, yeah, Boxing Day dip. They're all going in the sea on Boxing Day. How crazy are they? Wouldn't catch me in there. Anyway, you can now see over my shoulder, this is the pier. Look at the length of that. And I know I said it in my last one, but it is a long pier and it's not like it's built, it doesn't look like it's built to last, but <laughs> it was a bit rickety when we came down in the dark. At least this time it's daylight, so I haven't got to act tough in front of these guys. I feel a bit more confident. 
<laughs> show, show the other side of me. But yeah, this, this is where we got last time. We got about down to that boy and we bottled it last time. But yeah, Owen's, Owen's leading the way, so we should be fine. But we're going to go out a little way. We'll get a composition set up with this lovely big black sky in it and uh, see if we can uh, make the most of that. The, one of the best shots, I think, is going to be further down, so you get the arc coming round. Uh, so you get the arc coming round the end, leading over to the lighthouse over that side. And the tide's coming in, so the longer we're here, the higher the tide's going to get. So let's get ourselves down here, get a few shots set up, and uh, yeah, we'll talk you through them when we get them ready. And it's windy and cold. I haven't got my gloves on. I put my gloves back on. Really brave soldiers we are. We've come down in all this wind and toil and got some waves just coming through here as well at the moment. The last time I was here, I was petrified. <laughs> really, I'm not going to lie. I was quite scared. Uh, we've got a few fishermen in the shot though, which is a bit of a bugger, but you know, you can't really do much about it. We can try and clone them out afterwards, uh, but at least we've got a great big ship in it now. Uh, we've just got another guy coming past, which I'm trying to get underneath the tripod at the moment. Um, yeah, we're, we're fighting a bit against the conditions. Because the wind's up and the sea's obviously moving around, we're getting vibrations on the pier. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting some vibrations on the pier, so it's making any sharp shots a little bit unsharp, if you like. So I'm trying to balance, because I can't quite see the screen, see how sharp we're actually coming out. But we know the pier's moving a bit. When you're leaning against the railings, you can feel it sort of wobbling. So if it is wobbling, then the camera's going to be wobbling. So don't expect it to be bang on sharp, especially when I've just tried to cut the long exposures, like 25 seconds and that. Um, so what I've done to try and compensate is I've taken another one. Excuse me, lips are not working quite right. I've taken another one at a faster shutter speed. So obviously the water doesn't look so good, but the pier should be sharp. So I should be able to just brush back in the areas I want to try and make look sharp. Um, we took one from back down yonder, right down there, looking down the pier. Not so sure it works, to be honest. Uh, this one looks a bit nice. I've taken two, one from the position I'm in now, so you can look through the bottom of the pier, so you're getting all that light coming through there. The tripod's way up above me, Ed, as you can see. That's so I can get the horizon in a completely different line. Just saying to these two, you know, we, they were saying about the tripods that the horizon's sitting in sort of the wrong place, and that's the advantage of having something a little bit taller. Uh, with the centre column, I could go up even higher, but I just couldn't reach it. Struggling as it is now, if you can see like that, that's proper full-on reach. I can only just operate the camera properly. Um, so yeah, I took one from this position, like I say, looking through underneath. You've got the lighthouse in it as well. And I've taken one up against the edge this side, so you're looking round the corner a bit more. So you're looking more of the walk boards rather than underneath the pier. Um, not sure what they're going to work like, it's, like I say, until I get back because of vibrations and because of the fishermen, and they're all wearing high vis. You can just see them if I come around there. Look, they've all got high vis on, which is a right bugger to get rid of. Um, but we'll have a go, we'll see what we can do. We'll move up again one more, just so we can look straight down the pier to the lighthouse, and then we're going to go up towards the beach and go and find Mrs. C, Owen, and uh, the ladies, because these two have lost their wives, which is pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> In fact, we all lost our wives. <laughs> but no, we don't want to leave them here, do we? Oh, we never hear the last of it. So right, we're going to get another shot from around the corner, then I'll speak to you when I get back to the beach, because it's limited on my battery on me, um, uh, record me on my sound device, which is down here. So uh, yeah, typical me, I'm going to run out of battery, I'm not careful. Right, speak to you in a little while. Just trying to keep an eye on this water because I'm going to get some wet feet in a moment. And I've got people walking down the pier, which isn't ideal, but I can blend them back out afterwards. Um, yeah, I'm balancing with exposure and uh, lightness, if that makes sense. I've gone up to ISO 800 and I'm just trying to keep the highlights from the sky in, but also keep some texture on the uh, warp boards. And I've just got my finger on the trigger I'm waiting for the tide to recede. Every time it washes in, it's come up around my feet a couple of times. I so hopefully it won't come in too deep because I'm not one for getting my Gore-Tex boots covered in salt water if I can help it. Um, it doesn't do them any favours. But yeah, I'm just pretty much watching the tide 
and hopefully getting this tyre as it recedes back and leaves me some stripes in it. I'm at ISO 800 at the moment, which is giving me 1.3 seconds, which is probably a little bit too much. Um, you can just about see the lighthouse through the gap as well. And I think I might just lift my tripod over and just move it slightly to the left, push it back in. Now the lighthouse is sitting bang in the hole. So you can see the lighthouse through the gap, which is a little bit nicer. Uh, Horizon, it's against the rules, against the, against the normal normal position of having the lighthouse. Excuse me for wiping your nose, but it is dribbling. I put the horizon bang in the middle of the image. Uh, the reason the horizon's bang in the middle of the image is because it works. You've got a line coming in from the top there. You've got a line coming in from the bottom there. And it's sitting there bang in the middle. So I quite like it. And all I'm doing now is a big one. I could get wet feet on this one. I'm just waiting for the tide to come in and come out and now I'll get this lovely wash. That was quite nice. ISO 800, F8, and that was quite nice. If I go any lower on the ISO, um, it's too long, a, too long a shutter. I will do one. I, what I'll do is I'll do one for you. I'm gonna go around, bring it back to ISO 100. That's six and a half seconds. So if I hit the shutter button at six and a half, you're getting a lot of movement in the water, so it's making it very, very smooth, which isn't quite the effect I'm going for. It's nice, but it isn't the effect I'm going for. Uh, so I'm going to wind it back up and working in aperture priority is brilliant because the aperture has sorted itself out. It's locked on a f8. All I've got to do is I adjust my um, as I adjust my ISO on the top of the camera just here um, going up there to 400. It's giving me 2.5s going up to 800. It's giving me one second, a thousands, one second, 800, 1.3 seconds. So locking it off at f8, all I've got to do is move that little top dial and it adjusts everything else for me. So I adjust the ISO and in the shutter speed, it, it tells me what it wants to use. So it's dead easy to use. You haven't got to worry, if you're in manual, you adjust one, you've then got to adjust the other dial. Then you've got to adjust the other dial. So I find it very, very easy to shoot in this sort of, mo this sort of motion. It's coming up now, let's hit the shutter as it's receding back. Should give us some stripes leading back down then into the, into the sea. Quite like that, so I'll take a few of these. This is one of those ones where you can't get first time. You've got to take several different shots until you get the one that looks quite right. This one's a high one. It's going to come up around my feet. Click now, it's going back out. Click again, it's going back out. Get two or three shots, it goes out. Just pick your favourite. There was a nice swirl in that as well, so I might be able to blend the swirl with a little bit of wash at the top. So that, I'm going to keep playing with this until I get it right. And then, uh, oh, it's a bigger one, it's a bigger one. It's coming up, not quite onto my feet. As it's going back out now, click the button. That one's got some nice movement to it. It is a big one. This one I might have to just jump back before I get my boots soaked. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> Fell down a few holes as well. Like I said, I'm not into getting my boots completely covered in salt water because they're Gore-Tex and Gore-Tex and salt water does not mix. <laughs> Still, that was a big one. That did get me. Watch the seventh wave. That was number seven. So yeah, look. It got me, it got me, it did get me, look, it did get me, but I don't care, we're here to have some fun. Right, I'm now going to move back and set myself up here and uh, work on the position from this position because <laughs> we don't want to get another one of them. So, anyway, back to the camera. Like I said, I'm going to rattle off a few of these and try and get the one that actually works. <laughs> He's laughing, Andrew's laughing at me under there, he knew it was coming as well. <laughs> Bet you're bored with seeing me today. Here comes another big world, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> I've come back over the other side now. Um, the reason I've come over this side is because the wash is a lot better. Um, I can't remember who, what their names are. I'm really awful with names, but Matey in the grey, um, he come over and showed me, sorry, I forgot your name. I'm sure you're gonna tell me in the comments. Um, he showed me a picture from this side and the, the wash is much better because obviously the pier is to take out the wash. Um, 
it's the breakwater sort of thing. So there's not as much wash on that side as there is this side. You can see this side, there's an awful lot more white froth going on. So by shooting down this side, you do get the curl at the end as well in the little lighthouse. By shooting this side, you get a lot more of the, the wash in the water. So I've just been moving the camera around in different positions really, just trying to get something that's sort of favourable for what I quite like. And uh, again, keeping the horizon in the middle seems to be working quite nicely for me. I'm going to maybe go a little bit wider now, try and get a bit more washing. Um, here comes another big one, lock it off, it's coming over the top, let's hit the shutter as it goes back out. Too much froth, so there is too much froth in it to, to make it look good, but they're different, they're nice, not, not bad shots. I'm going to move now a bit further away from the pier and try and get um, more or less pier, more water and see if that works without falling down any holes as well. Uh, but at least from down here the wind's not battering the hell out of us. So let's just flick that on, adjust that. We've got a nice pier running away down. Let's zoom in a little bit. See, you're just messing around with my fingers, just trying to zoom in a little bit, tilt the camera slightly, just seeing if I can get something that sort of works for me. I think what might work as an interesting shot is, putting a little bit more sky in, we're going to go slightly wider, and I'm going to do a long exposure. So I've got the camera nice and level, so I'll lock that off like so. Camera's nice and level. At the moment, with a six stop in, it's giving me one second at f7.1. So we're going to just pop the shutter a few times to try and get some movement in this water as it's getting closer to us, as it comes in and out, and just see which one sort of looks the best. And then I'm going to drop the exposure slightly, and I'm going to wind this up to f11. f11 is going to give me one and a half second. Let's bring the exposure back up just a touch. That's two seconds. So I'm going to try two seconds, and I'm going to also then bring the... Let's go back to ISO 400, two seconds. Here comes a big one coming in now. You can see it coming in behind in front of me. And I'm going to hit the shutter now. That's giving me a two second exposure. The water's virtually under my feet. But you've got a two-tone image. You've got the white at the bottom and in the dark sky above it. And then I'm going to also wind it. Here comes a bit, bit more froth coming up underneath us. That's not too bad. Again, everything's in the distance. So anyway, I think it's time for me to say goodbye. Um, this has been going more than long enough. I'm going to take another shuttle while I walk away. It's been going more than long enough, so I'm going to say goodbye, say thank you for watching. This is our LVA meetup, our Maud Pie and Mince Wine, as it's been known, um, meetup. Do this every Christmas if I can. So next year, I don't know where I'm going to be in the country, but we'll do another meetup at this time of year. Like I say, it's Boxing Day. Everyone seems to have had fun. They seem to be shooting. They're all shooting away now. They're taking pictures underneath the pier. Denise has gone back to the van with Owen uh, just to have a bit of a warm and a cup of coffee. So like I say, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of junk <laughs> or rubbish of me rambling on and showing you photographs. But yeah, I've had a good day. It's been great meeting everybody. Thank you to everybody that turned up for Sunrise. Uh, yeah, please drop us a line and drop us a comment. Let us know your names because you know me, I'm awful. Or on our LVA Facebook group, drop us your name you know, on there and just uh, let us know who you are so I can put it in the comments for us. Um, so yeah, ciao. That's all I can say. Thank you. See you soon. Have fun. Bye. guys are all laughing at me and I bet you all know why in true Compton style I've not gone anywhere I'm still here <laughs> so these guys here they obviously all watch me and they all say when I'm going to sort of logging off and saying goodbye they normally check and see how much is left and they all know that I've got another five minutes to go so uh, yeah I've come over a little bit further here comes a big one um, I keep forgetting everyone's name what was your name Darren Darren yeah. Darren was looking at this log down here. When I walked over here a little while ago, that was buried and it seems to have uncovered itself. And it's just sort of inspired me to have a go myself. So Darren was shooting that way out. I'm coming to shoot this way in. And we're just waiting for now to see, this one here could be the one, to come up and catch me feet and get me wet. Here it comes. <laughs> my feet are wet. I've got soaked, but I think I got the shot. Yeah, I've got wet feet, wet trousers. Was it worth it? Here comes another one. I'm going to get wet, but it's worth just taking the shot just to get, <laughs> I've got no idea where you are, just to get the lines coming round.
Um, but I wasn't moving, I was determined I was going to stand there no matter what. Let's have a flick through. Did I get the one at the beginning? We've got wash, we've got water coming around it. You know me, I'm hard to please. It's not bad, it's not bad. Got in a vertical orientation, so I'm looking straight down the pier. Um, I'm now going to move around slightly so it's not every shot's the same. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, I think we got one. So I'm going to move around slightly and just put the pier in a slightly different position. And we've got some nice patch of water in front of it now, which I quite like. Here it comes again. Hit the button. Andrew's behind me. He's just run off like a chicken. What sort of a photographer are you, yeah. man, if your feet aren't wet? <laughs> I'm going to have to, to I am going to have to wash these boots when I get back because like I said you should not be mixing Gore-Tex and soup, salt water. But yeah, but that's uh, it just makes something a little bit interesting, something extra to add to the photograph to be honest. So yeah, hopefully that works. So I'm just going to hang around here now and try and snap another one when it comes back through because there's now there's a nice pool of water in front of it, so it looks pretty good. Just whiz me polarize around. All right, I'm going to wait for this and snap this shot and like I said any more I get from now on I will just show you them as a slideshow at the end so ciao here comes another one I'm gonna get wet <laughs>